Some people don't believe we can win the race against cancer. That we should slow down and stop trying. But we disagree. The value of Innovation Initiative is a community of patients, innovators, researchers, and citizens dedicated to creating a world free from cancer. We believe it's possible. We'll show you how. The truth is, people haven't been keeping up with the leaps in medical progress. People with cancer are living longer, fuller lives. Like Jack, a marathon runner with blood cancer, the type that eats away at healthy bone marrow. When he was diagnosed, most people with his blood cancer couldn't expect to live more than three years. That was 10 years and many marathons ago across the country. Jack wasn't running his race against blood cancer alone. Innovation was on his side. His first treatment was a new pill that targeted and shut down the source of blood cancer cells. It worked for three years until the blood cancer returned. But by then, researchers were able to draw a map to this blood cancer's genetic home. By figuring out what genetic pathways were triggering his disease and how they worked, Scientists were able to design another pill to stop this blood cancer before it spreads in people like Jack. Today, thanks to the faster discovery of targeted cancer medicines, more people like Jack are living free from cancer than ever before. Some people claim cancer innovation costs too much and does too little. But over the past 20 years, cancer deaths in the United States have dropped 30% faster than any time in history. The percentage of cancer patients who have to be hospitalized has been cut in half. The number of cancer survivors has more than doubled from about 6.8 million to 14 million today. That translates into 43 million additional life years worth $4.7 trillion to our economy. And despite what you might hear, new cancer therapies are less than 1% of what we spend on health care in America. And that 1% is a great investment. But the path forward is riddled with obstacles. The science to truly individualize treatments exists. In 2003, the first human genome was cataloged after 10 years and over a billion dollars. Today, we can do it in half a day for less than $500. We could learn almost instantly what treatments would work best in individuals, but we take years to allow people to use such innovations. We are developing more therapies for rare cancers than ever before, but spending more money and time to get them through the FDA. Though personalized cancer medicines save lives and money, many health plans are forcing us to wait longer and pay more for such breakthroughs. We can do better. We can let more people know the real value of new cancer therapies. We can give people with cancer more control over how research is carried out. We can cut the time and money needed to develop personalized medicines and make sure we get the treatments that are best for us. We can do more than outrun cancer. We can create a world free from cancer. Help us save lives. Join the movement. Check us out at valueofinnovation.org. Keep the clock ticking.